Today, we at Fast Pass Facts will give you an exclusive look at one of the most significant artifacts in Disneyland's history. Back in 1953, Walt was running out of money and options for making Disneyland a reality. Walt realized he needed visual materials to use in meetings with potential investors if he was ever going to convince others of his park's potential. In September of that same year, Walt and Imagineer Herb Ryman created a large presentation map of what Disneyland might look like. In addition to a large map, several small prospectus packets were created to hand out to investors. These prospectus packets included several of Walt's earliest descriptions of the lands and attractions at Disneyland. Many of these early descriptions would change drastically by the park's opening day and provide us a rare look at Walt's earliest ideas for his park. We can see the original plans for many lands that exist today, like Adventureland and Tomorrowland, and also plans for some lands that were never built. We can see plans for a land called Lilliputian Land, which was described as a miniature village inhabited by mechanical people nine inches high who sing and dance and talk to you as you peek through the windows of their tiny shops and homes. There was also Holiday Land, a place where we would have found many special attractions that would change with the seasons, Recreation Land, a park that groups could reserve for picnics and special outings, and the Mickey Mouse club headquarters inside a hollow tree and treehouse. The prospectus packet also includes a small hand-colored version of the Herb Ryman map. This map folds out of the prospectus and gives an overview look at the original idea for Disneyland. The prospectus ends with a detailed site plan of Disneyland by Imagineer Marvin Davis. These packets are incredibly rare and it is unknown how many were created in 1953 and how few still survive today. The prospectus packets are well known in the history of Disneyland's creation and offer a beautiful archive of information on Walt's original plans for the park. If these prospectus packets were not created, it is possible that Disneyland itself would not have received the funding it needed in order to be built. This particular prospectus we are able to show you was a WED Imagineering file copy that once belonged to Imagineer Marty Sklar. This prospectus file copy was assembled at some point between 1953 and the mid-1960s and is contained in a blue WED Imagineering file folder. This unique item of Disneyland history is a highlight of a free public exhibit at Van Eaton Galleries in Sherman Oaks, California. The prospectus is one of over 1,500 items in Van Eaton's gallery's largest exhibit ever, A History of Disneyland and Walt Disney World. Other highlights of this historic exhibit include fully functioning audio animatronic tiki birds, a people mover vehicle, Haunted Mansion stretching portraits, the Magic Kingdom's Penny Arcade entrance sign, an original audio animatronic mechanical frame, dolls from It's a Small World, an original figment prop, concept artwork, wardrobe items, and much, much more. The free exhibit is open from now now until December 6, 2019, and will end with a two-day auction of every item in the exhibit. For more details, you can visit Van Eaton's Gallery's website, vegalleries.com, or stop into the gallery if you're in the Los Angeles area. Don't miss your opportunity to see these Disneyland and Walt Disney World relics, and this rare Disneyland prospectus in person before they're gone.